What it looks to me like there is remnants of an ancient planetary system of utilizing subtle energies of the earth and the sky. All over the planet, we find these incredible constructions. You know, something that I just recently um, was researching was, you know, Stonehenge. Once you reconstruct the original plan, it had this very special, unique geometry. It also appears to have been carefully located not just randomly placed, but carefully located on the surface of the earth at a very precise and specific place. It's also then oriented towards the movement of the heavens. Built into Stonehenge are sighting lines for the motions of the moon, the sun through the seasons. The, it's well known that the summer solstice sunrise forms the alignment of the monument. Recently, it was discovered that there were not just two types of stone being used, there was three. The outer big ones that we kind of picture are called sarsen stone sandstone. Inner rings are formed of a rhyolitic blue stone. And then you've got alternate type of stone called uh, blue stone, which is an igneous rock. So right there, it seems like, well, the type of stone must have been important. They weren't just randomly setting up stones. How did they discover that the altar stone was a third type of rock? Well, because it had had a high metallic content, particularly barium. I don't know what the implications are of that yet, but it was a distinct type of rock. That's how they were able to find its origins in Northern Scotland.